Welcome to this fitness video on how to reduce and prevent your knee pain. My name is Dr. Emma Shapiro. I'm a physical therapist who works for the Veterans Health Administration. And I'm really excited to share this video because I see it all the time. Lots of people with knee pain and there are actually some pretty simple, quick and easy exercises that you can do to prevent and reduce your knee pain. Now, I wanna put a really quick disclaimer that if you have had knee pain due to a recent surgery, due to a recent injury or accident, or due to some sort of mechanical cause, please see your physical therapist or your physician first. This video is for chronic and overuse knee pain and not for a specific injury or accident that you may have. That treatment is going to vary and be different than what I'm gonna show you today. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do if we have knee pain, and it's tricky because there's internal knee pain, there's external knee pain, there's knee pain, you know, in a variety of different places. So only you can find that pain spot. But what we're going to do is we're going to take a tennis ball or a lacrosse ball, or what I really love is a foam roller, and we're going to massage the knee. So you can also, if it's hard to use any of these, and get into the proper position, what you can do then is you can use your hand and just use your thumb and find that painful area and just use your thigh and massage it. And just massage. Very simple, free, easy to use technique. And just massaging, you'll feel a difference in your knee pain. You can also take your palm and if you have shorts on, uh, expose your skin, put a little bit of lotion, and you're going to take your palm and you're just going to press down gently along the length of your knee, along the length of your thigh, sliding along, giving gentle pressure. What we're doing is we're increasing circulation. We're also breaking up any scar tissue or muscle knots that may prevent proper alignment to your knee, and that may be causing pain. We're going to go along the whole muscle massaging with our palm. Okay, so now that we've done a little massage, you can evaluate how your knee feels. Now I'd also encourage you to actually do it on your other knee as well, even if that knee doesn't have pain, just as a good practice for prevention. I do massage all the time, and it's just a daily, really good daily habit to get into to make sure that you don't have more pain or pain down the line. Okay, so besides massage, what else can you do to help your knee pain? Well, it's really important that we keep our muscles lengthened and flexible, but also strong. So what we're going to go into is a couple of exercises to strengthen our knee. So we're going to lay down. And the first exercise is going to be a bridge. So laying down, we're going to bring our hips up and hold. Now, if this is easy and it's not causing you any pain, you can place a band around your thighs to give a little bit of resistance and you're almost pushing out your knees against the band. Now, if that's easy, what you then can do is you can raise one leg up and you'll be in a single leg bridge. This is going to put more emphasis on the leg that is holding up your body. And then switch. The other exercise I would like you to do is a straight leg raise. So keeping your knees bent, you're going to bring one leg out and hold. Now if it's too hard to hold, you can do a repetition going up and down. But otherwise holding. Our muscles in our legs are often endurance muscles. So I'm a big fan of trying to hold the exercise because that's what we'll need for long walks or standing for a long period of time. Okay, and then the last exercise that I encourage you to do is a hip strengthening exercise where you're going to lay on your side, one leg raises up, and you hold. So these are obviously just a couple exercises you can do to reduce your knee pain, but also to strengthen your legs and your hips. There are more exercises, but these are quick, simple, and easy to do and easy to incorporate just at the end of a long day or before you go to work. Now lastly is stretching. So not only do we keep our muscles uh, strong, 
but we also want to keep them flexible. So one stretch you can do is a hip stretch. You're going to cross your knees, pull your knee across. This is going to stretch your hip. Now you can also do this in sitting. We're going to do both sides here. The other stretch is a stretch where you can take a sheet or a strap, hold it, and loop it across your leg, and raise your leg up stretching your hamstring. You can also do this stretch in sitting where we go and we are trying to reach and touch our toes, trying to strengthen the back of our leg or our hamstring. You can also go in the middle and this will strengthen your inner hamstring. You'll feel a little different stretch. Holding all of these stretches to really allow the muscle to elongate, allow the muscle to have increased flexibility. So we're going to be trying to reach for our toes, and we're going to be trying to reach for the middle. Now, I encourage you to also try to stretch your quadriceps or the thigh muscle. So you can do that in two ways. You can go into kneeling, now the challenge with kneeling is that this is often a hard position for people to get into. And so I don't often actually teach people this stretch. What I actually tell someone to do is to go onto their bed. You're going to go towards the edge of the bed. Not too far. We don't want you to fall off. But you're going to go to the edge of the bed. You're going to lay down. Have one leg up. The other leg is going to hang off the side of the bed and you'll feel the stretch along your hip. If you want more stretch, you can actually take the anchor leg and bring it up to your chest, allowing this leg to come off the bed and this one to be in your chest. Then you can come to the other side of the bed, anchor or hold, this leg comes off the side of the bed. It's a really excellent stretch for our hips that are tight throughout the day because we're sitting so often during the day. And then the last stretch is a calf stretch where you're going to come to the wall, get into that runner's position, making sure you're driving your heel down into the ground, foot flat, knee straight, and then leaning forward, holding. All of these stretches we're going to be holding for a period of time. That's it for today's simple, easy exercise video to help you hopefully reduce or prevent your knee pain. Thank you.